Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Emily, and I am here with the Jefferson County Public Library to do preschool time. Now, what that means is we are going to read a book and do a couple of activities that are probably best geared for a child that is a little bit older than a toddler, but maybe not in school yet. However, I and the Jefferson County Public Library welcome anyone of all ages to attend our story times, and I hope that there's gonna be a little bit of something for everyone here to enjoy. Alrighty. That being said, let us start with our welcome song. Are you guys ready? Okay, good. Let's get our hands ready. We're gonna wave. Let's all wave and sing along together. All right, let's go. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. To all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. To all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. Very good, guys. Let's do it one more time. Okay, let's go. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. To all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. To all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. Very good, guys. Let's move on to our letter of the week. Are you guys ready? We're going to do our mystery letter. Oh, I can hear a lot of letters. They're clanking around. Can you guys call out the letter that you think is going to be our mystery letter of the week? Remember, mystery means that we don't know what it is, but we want to find out. What do you think it is? What are your guesses? Shout them out. Those are some really good guesses, guys. Let's find out, okay? letter R. Can you guys see the letter R? How exciting. Now I want you to kiss your brain if you guess the letter R. Say thank you brain. Thank you for making me so smart and helping me guess the letter R. Now if you didn't guess the letter R, that's totally fine. Miss Emily is so proud of you because you knew letters that were also important. They just weren't the letter of the week this week. So I want you to kiss your brain. I say thank you brain because I knew other letters that are very important too. Very good guys. Already let's talk about some words that start with the letter R. Are you ready? What are some things that start with the letter R? Those are some really, really good words, guys. Very good. Now let's see what Ms. Emily brought today for her examples. I see a, ooh, I see a rabbit. R for rabbit, r, r, rabbit. And rabbits go hop, 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 hop. Very good, guys, I got a rabbit. I have a rock. Can you guys see this big, beautiful rock? Perfect. Let's see. Ooh, I have a ruler. A ruler. Very good. I have ooh, a robot. R -r 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 robot. Can everybody use your robotic voices? Robot. Robot engaged. Very good, guys. Alrighty, one more thing. Miss Emily has a, oh, what is that? Can you guys guess? Shout it out if you know. Very good, guys. It's a rattle because it rattles. R -r rattle. Very good. Here's one more thing that Emily just thought of. Look at our letter R. What color is it? What color is it? Very good, guys. It's red. R -r red. Very good. Wow, I feel so excited about the letter R that I think it is time for us to read a book about it. What do you guys think? Good, I'm so glad you guys agree. Let's do our It Is Time For A Story song, okay? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, touch your ears. If you're ready for a story, touch your ears. 
If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, touch your ears. If you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. Very good, everybody. I know you're ready. I'm really excited about the book that we are going to read today. And oh my goodness, what does the word read start with? What letter? Let's take a look on the front of our book. <gasps> what letter is that? R, R, read. It's an R, 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 read. Very good. Miss Emily has chosen how to read a book. And this is by one of my favorite authors, Kwame Alexander. And it is published by Harper, which is an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. So we're very excited to be reading this today. There's some amazing pictures and some really cool art that I am excited to share with you all. So let us get started, okay? So many vibrant colors. I can't wait. Alrighty, let's go. First, find a tree. A black tupelo or dawn redwood will do and plant yourself. Plant. We're going to set ourselves down to read. It's okay if you prefer a stoop like Langston Hughes. Take a look at our pictures here. Now a stoop is this porch, the front porch. A stoop is another word for porch. And once you're comfy, peel open its gentle skin like you would a clementine. So when you're ready, you open your book and you peel it open gently. Very good. The clementine, like a delicious, delicious fruit. And it is the color of sunrise. The scent of morning air and sweet butterfly kisses. Can you guys blow a kiss? Blow a kiss. Very good. Now look at, are you seeing some of these really cool illustrations? Look here. This person's face is made out of a book page. So this artist didn't only use crayons or markers or paint. This artist made pictures with things that are pages. Isn't that cool? You can make art out of almost anything. Now next, dig your thumb at the bottom of each juicy section and pop the words out. Can you guys help me go pop? <gasps> pop, pop, pop. Very good. <gasps> and then you see here, this book right here is set up like a toaster, but it's a book. We can see the pages here <gasps> and they popped out the words once upon a time. <gasps> and then piece by piece, part by part, page by rustling page. Remember <gasps> a page is a part of a book, right? So part by part, page by page. <gasps> Beautiful. Then when the sun is so quiet, watch a novel world unfurl right before your eyes. Surprise! It's a book party stacked with all of your favorite friends. A picnic of words and leaps and sounds and bounds. Now this one's a cool page. I have to flip it all the way open. Oh, so look at how long this is. Look at all of our book friends right here at our book party waiting for you. Awesome. So get cozy, real cozy between the covers 
and let your fingers wonder as they wander. Now remember, this is the cover of a book and this back is also a cover. So we're gonna get cozy between the covers of our book and we're gonna read and we're gonna let our fingers wander across the page. Maybe you want to follow along with the words as you read. Maybe our grown-ups can help us too, right? Right. Now squeeze every morsel of each plump line until the last drop of magic drips from the sky of infinity. All right, you see this word here? Squeeze. Can you guys give yourselves big squeezes? Oh, big squeezes. Very good. And bursts of orange. Explode. You see that? Explode. Let's make this better. Beneath a purple moon. You see our purple moon here? Don't rush through. Your eyes need time to taste. 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 Your soul needs room to bloom. Now sleep, dream, hope that you never, ever reach. Look at how cool her hair is. Made out of all of these different pieces of beautiful paper. Isn't that so cool? So remember, we are sleeping, dreaming, and hoping that we will never reach <gasps> the end. The end. <laughs> Very good, everybody. That was such a wonderful story. Thank you for sharing it with me today. Now let us do our goodbye rhyme. Tickle the clouds. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle your toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. <gasps> Clap your hands and tickle your nose. Now reach down low. Everybody reach down. And then reach up high. <gasps> story time is over. Wave bye bye. Bye guys. Thank you so much for coming to preschool time today. Once again, my name is Miss Emily. I am with the Jefferson County Public Library and I can't wait to see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.